Hello, hello. All right. Thank you, Christian. <laughs> I had I had my mics working and then all of a sudden they turned off, but we're back on and you can hear us now. But thank you so much, Christian. So yeah, I, I'm going to start again completely. So we're talking about selling cars on Marketplace. What's good? What's not good? What can help? You know, sideways photos like this AU here really just is a neck snapper. Make sure you, uh, 1500 bucks. Now, if you didn't know this, let me just show you something really quickly on your phone. So I'm going to make myself big right now. So when you open up, people are messaging me. Don't, now my phone's frozen. Okay. So can you hear me now? All good. Awesome. Thanks, man. All right, people are sending me photos here. So if you didn't know, let me just find a photo of a car. So here is, let me just change this camera settings here for a sec. If you didn't know, sorry, just bear with me. Something's going on here. Yo, I don't know why it keeps turning off. Maybe because it thinks I'm not recording. Let me just put that so I can see it. Sorry guys, super unprofessional, but yeah, I just thought I'd try a live stream because I was like something different and I couldn't be bothered editing video and stuff. So, all right, Land Cruiser Toyota. Yeah, we're all good again. Lucky mate, no sound again. We can hear you. All right. I'm super sorry about that. Anyway. So obviously presentation when you're selling a car is super important. Like if you can, and you don't have broken arms and legs, get out there and clean it and make sure that like main image is it's sexy. I reckon photos on concrete look better and in the shade. Um, the good thing about shooting in the shade is that you get the glossy look. Like look at this AU here. Even if your paint's like crap, like it just, and I know you want the photos to be authentic as well, but like this is shot like semi in the shade and that kind of caught my attention, even though these photos could be way better. And I also thought about doing it as an experiment, maybe even just going on marketplace and purchasing a car that I reckon is listed for not as much as it could be, buying it, washing it, redoing the photos, and then trying to resell the car in a day. I think that would be a cool, interesting experiment to see if I could pull it off. I mean, if you can go, if you can be fucked, like getting a hose and a little bit of degreaser and cleaning that up, like, yeah, it, it goes a very, very long way. Like presentation is massive. Um, and it does take a lot of time. A lot of people can't do it. Vacuum it, clean it. This is shit you guys probably already know. Sorry about the swearing. <laughs> All right, let me read some of these comments here. Most people only upload like three to five photos. Yeah, that's right. I think the more photos is the better. And some people actually fully forget to do photos of the interior. Or maybe they purposely don't do it because the interior is cooked. But like the interior is so important because that's where you spend 
95% of the time. Like, yeah, you want it to look good from the outside because that's like what other people see and you want to be proud of your car. But like this, AU, this AU here looks good for 5.5. Five. Selling my a 2001 AU as I've upgraded cars. Like, I feel like this here, like if you, I mean, the K's are up there. If you got something like this and you looked after it, like, and you cl and you cleaned it up, like the door's got a bit of a dent there. This is going up in value. So if you got like a spare five, six, seven grand and you want a cool car, there's nothing wrong with buying something like this and considering it as an investment or savings on the side or something like that. That's my mentality everywhere. Everyone's got a different mentality. That's why I have so many cars because I just, yo, the mic's still working. I just think if I need the money, I can just sell a car. So yeah, photos are super important. I'm a photographer. That's my profession. I'm not a professional car photographer, but I know a good photo when I see one. Um, like something like this makes the car look shit. Like you've got all the fucking soap and shit around the bottom. Like a lot of people, what I found is everyone has different awareness on what is good and what is not. Hey guys, what's going on? Miami boys. If you want a car to sell, clean the car, take a lot of photos, provide a good amount of info on the car instead of putting it up for sale, my car, blah, blah, blah. Good point. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of people are scared to buy cars because they're like, oh, you know, it's a lot of money. But like, you forget the fact that like, if you need the money again, you can just sell the car. And Again, you might think, oh, you know, I spent all this money on the car and blah, blah, blah. But you can just, in most cases, you can get it back, especially with these old Falcons that are going up. Like, as long as you're someone who looks after your shit or you improve it as you as time goes by, you cannot lose. Unless something really fucked up. Where did my drink go? Fuck, it's parched over here. I had a drink somewhere here. It's gone. Anyway, I'll just have to wait. <laughs> Keep an eye on this microphone. Yeah, what cars do you think will shoot up in the next 10 years is my opinion. Mitch Finn. Um, I honestly reckon anything that is 1999 and before. As I was saying to someone else the other day, think about the younger generation. Eventually, they're going to become 20, 30, 40 years old. And we're going to... And like, I don't know how old you are watching this, but like, I'm one of my mid-30s right now. Like in 20 years' time, I'm going to be 55 and the kids are going to be looking back and thinking 1999 like wow that's with the olden days like in the 1900s and like you know you get your 1999 or your 1997 Ford Falcon like this thing's going to be a relic this is the kind of shit that like people are going to be like oh my god that's from the 1900s like that's what it's going to be referred to as like we think 1900s is 1900 but the kids coming through who are all used to being 2000, like we're nothing after 2000. Um, like you think about it now, like and anyone that was born in 2000 is 23 years old. Anyway, how are you dudes doing anyway? I just thought I'd jump on, do a live. We still got audio? Yep. All right, Miami boy said my dad sold his dog. My dad sold his dog GS in 2019. 26,500 Ks. He said he sold it. Search up Ford Maverick. Ford Maverick, guys, just search up Ford Maverick. Oh, these bad boys. Yeah, it's pretty much like a patrol. I'm not that into four wheel drives and stuff, but like they are cool. And like even these things here, like if you have one and it's clean and it's not completely fucked up, it's going to go up in value as long as you look after it. The other cars I think will go up in value is, I, I, I reckon in Australia is definitely the, the Aussie stuff. I mean the Jap stuff too. I mean, it's all going up. I mean, you see a clean fucking Ford laser <laughs> these days and it looks like, 
interesting to see go past because what makes a car cool is the fact that it's rare. Not like if you see, like now, like Ford Rangers are cool, but like they're everywhere. Like you don't look at a Ford Ranger go past and be like, ooh, it's just like oh, another Ford Ranger. Yeah, they're nice cars, they're practical, but and no offense to anyone who has a Ford Ranger, but like it's a pretty average car to have. It's all relative though, like depends where you've come from. Oh, hang on, I've gone to the wrong thing. <laughs> gone on my Facebook feed. Yeah, we're not in cars anymore. So anyway, listen to your car. So if you want to sell your car, Facebook Marketplace is probably the worst place to do it. If you want to go to somewhere serious to sell your car, go to car sales, which I'm on all the day, um, all the day. How do you sell your car? Sell my car. So let's just see how much it costs. So you jump on car sales, advertise on car sales, sell your car for a great price, choice of packages, exclusive data to help your car, blah, 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 blah. Or you can just get an instant off. I get started. What's your car's registration? It doesn't even tell you the price. I need to make up a registration now. Um, oh shit. I just wanted to know how much it was, mate. I don't want to put my rego in there. I think it's about 69 bucks. Get started. What if I just use someone else's rego from Marketplace? <laughs> it's a little tiny bit dodgy, but let's do that. What are you guys saying? What are my opinions on 2000s Holden VX VY? Yeah, I reckon 100% they're going up. Like a lot of the cars that people like didn't really think were good, pushed to the side. Oh yeah, there's just shit. There's heaps of them. Just scrap it. Just trash it. It's a cheap car. The people, again, who have looked after them, kept them garaged, either maintained them. Eventually in 10 years, which we all know that 10 years goes pretty damn quick. Like, It'll fly by. The next 10 years will be here like quicker than we think. So, yeah. By the way, you choose make model and car sales. You missed it. All right, I'm going back. I'm going back here. I'm trying to go to the part where you sell your car just to show how much it costs. Yeah. Let's just new cars, new cars, cars for sale. Car sales. Yeah. So, I don't know, what car, what car should I search? Next person who tells me what car should search, I'll search that for a bit of fun. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this live on there, yes. If you choose to make a model for car sales, all right, what are we searching? Underneath where you enter, Rego. It's small. XYGT. <laughs> all right, let's have a look at the VLs. I'm pretty sure I have, I'm not gonna search XYGTs because that's just gonna be that's just going to be, let's have a look and see how much of these VLs are selling for. All right. We're going series. We're going VL search. All right. We're going to go from highest to lowest. So the highest VL for sale in Australia on car sales is this beautiful SS Group A manual. $160,000. What were these cars worth like 10 years ago? Does anybody know? This is a, it obviously looks like a really nice example. George, don't you already? Yeah, I do own a VL, yes. I'm not buying, I'm just having a look. I'm having a look at photo qualities. I'm having a look at prices of things. People started talking about like, what's, the, what's gonna go up? Definitely VLs will be going up because everyone loves a VL. I don't actually think they're, as rare as people think they are because these were like the, um, these are the car that everybody loves and has loved for a long time. So second up, 139,000 for a Commodore SLVL. Now that's not even listed as a turbo. I'm guessing it's worked off its head. It's got freaking bead locks on it. It's off its head. Yeah, nice. Pretty sure I saw this car. Dude, what is that? An LS with a massive snail on it. Well, yeah, I just sold a VL Bellina. Too cheap. It was, yeah. Blue Pro, no one bought it for 20K. Yeah, with some cars, like, 
you got to remember, like, you put your car up for sale, and if it's something that's kind of rare and sought after, the buyer not, might not be ready straight away. It's like, you just got to put it up there and be patient. That's why in life, like, when you're desperate, if you're desperate for a chick, if you're desperate for money, if you're desperate for all this stuff, you pretty much drop your pants for, for something lower. And I'm not saying that you're desperate or anything like that. I'm, I'm just trying to say that, like, it's always better to maximize your money Hold on to it. Wait for the right buyer to come in. Be patient. And we've got a five liter, just an SL Commodore. This is like the base model. $84,000, 123,000 Ks, which is not even that low. That's crazy. All Rat Rods bra is where it's at. Yeah, Rat Rods are awesome. I used to hate them when I was a kid because a lot of people had hot rods and stuff. But yeah, custom stuff. Was a factory turbo balina, had it off for 20K. For so long. Yeah, how long ago was that, Stephen? Custom purple. Off oh, it's nut motor. Big, big fatties on the back. You know, a lot of people on Facebook, and it really shits me, is when someone puts their car for sale, and then everyone's just like, get off the ice pipe. Oh my God, what the fuck was the price? But like, <gasps> these car covers are, I'm thinking about trying one of these. Like, look at that. It's like a little tent for your car. Because <laughs> one of the problems when you, um, oh, a couple of months, good price. What was factory turbo? Yeah, George, well, the old HT Kings would go up in price one day. Look, I'm no expert on this. But yeah, they'll go up. It, it just depends on like the quality of the car and how good you've maintained it. And is it rusted? Is it... You know how much money it takes to make a car like good? So much money. That's why like when people put their car up, you have no idea what's gone into it. Some people have done full nut and bolt restorations. It just looks like a standard SLVL, but like that thing will last another 40, 50 years if it's done correctly. And then you could get one that kind of looks clean, but it's not underneath and it's cheaper and it's like oh that's more realistic you can't tell from photos on the quality of the car that's why i even suggest like car sales allows you to put a video on there too i haven't seen a video yet but if you can do videos and stuff and you're good at making videos like why not if it works for houses why wouldn't you do it for cars yeah okay people don't realize how much insurance costs annually yeah that's right the good thing about insurance though as well if you go on club reg with um and you go with shannon's who that's who i'm with for all my cars they actually give you like a, a really good rate um so my ea is insured for eight thousand dollars now i didn't ask them for that they told me that it's worth eight thousand dollars and i think i'm paying like 250 bucks a year now obviously it's not a car that's driven daily it's not on the road all the time um, but yeah, Shannon's is pretty good. Club Bridge is good. Go for something 25 years or older. It's going to be an investment. You can put it on Club Bridge. You get 90 days, um, to use it for the year. And yeah, like a weekend car. Sorry, there's a lot of comments coming in here. Um, people don't realize how much you can a bit of a change of subject. What are the plans for the EA? So... The EA at the moment is running and driving. The engine is a bit... Yeah. Long-term plans, I don't really know. I think it needs an engine swap because it's just so damn slow. Like the three-speed, 3.9-liter center fire injection is... It's really bad. <laughs> um, like it struggles. Like you floor it. And I, I make a joke about it. I'm like, guess what? I'm flooring it. So I do have the green top sitting there. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll, we'll pop that in. Ooh, what are you guys' thoughts on these hubcaps? Like, there's, I'm thinking about doing something similar like this on my VR. But yeah, a lot of people do it, but it looks cool. It gives it the 80s vibe. Anyway, enough with VLs. Let's have a look at the Fords. Let's have a look and see what the Fords are going for. I saw a EAS pack on here for like 25 grand and I was like, oh my goodness. But again, I think it's super clean. Like, do you remember back in the, I remember back in the day, my mate, he, um, 
he bought a uh, VL BT1, and this is back in probably like 2005. And he bought it for 10 grand. And this thing was sick. Like it had the original map light, it had like low Ks, full original, but like it wasn't modified or anything. And we're like 10 grand for a VL. And I remember thinking, man, he's crazy. $1.1 million for an XY. Yep, there it is, boys. Start saving your pennies. Only the cool kids get to drive the cool cars. I actually like it that some of these old cars are going up in value because one, it gives it more like value. It gives the car more, you, you give the car more care. Like if you go and buy an XY for 500 bucks and they're always for 500 bucks and you can get another one for 500 bucks, no one's going to respect it. But when you got a car that's like 295000 for an XR. Anyway, the old stuff, man. I like just, I'm addicted to it. I, I go on here and I just, I just look around and see what things are going for. I don't know why I find it relaxing. All right, I'm going to go in there and go on E-Series. Because I reckon the E series is overlooked. They're in the middle of like, yeah, they're sh they're a shit car, but a lot of people are disregarding that. That's why I bought mine because I'm like, man, you can get, like I bought mine for five hundred dollars. What happened there? I want series. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I'm missing some of these comments. Um, what, Mr. Big Dose, what veil you got? I have a 1987 SL Series 2. Check out my channel, Mr. Big Dose, for, um, yeah. I've got like a full, a full um, series on the whole car, like doing it up and whatever. Hey, Stefan, you're lucky if you, yeah, that's not for me. Holy moly, one mil. Nice was given to my grandma for free for another family. Nine now. Stefan, Stefan, Stefan. Did Stefan was given a car? Sorry, I missed your earlier comment. Have a look at the BF Mark II going for 60 grand. All right, let's check out the BF Mark II going for 60 grand. This one here? That's a, That looks like an F6 to me. BF Mark II. This one, is this the one you're talking about? Respect it, this one. Nah, the blue one. Well, I've searched it from price high to low, so. I don't know, I've got Falcon BF Mark II. There is no BF Blue Mark II here. This one here looks like an F6 to me. It could be a mock up though. It's not turbo. I didn't put in turbo. There's no other parameters sorted, so. Yeah. <clears throat> maybe maybe it's not a BF Mark II. Maybe it's a BF. No. Series. Just keep adding all the series on. Let's see, we've got BF, 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 EA, EA2, EB, ED. EFAL. Oh, we've got an XR8 for 120 grand. 120,000 guys, bargain. If that's a genuine aspect, is worth, yeah, that's what I thought too. If, if it's a genuine, but the guys put it in the wrong category on car sales. BF Mark II Fairmont. Oh, that's why it's not coming up. All right, let's check that out. And the thing is, like, People can ask whatever the fuck they want for cars. It doesn't mean you're going to pay it. Like some people have a shitload of money, like a shitload of money to the point where they've got 10 million, 20 million, 30 million just sitting there in, in cash in the bank. Plus they've got all these assets and like what's 60 grand. If you want a blue beer fam on gear and, and someone wants to pay for it, that's the way high business people think they're like, I mean, you can go buy a handbag for 60 grand or you can go buy a handbag for, you know, probably $12 at Target. 
they both essentially do the same thing and they might even look similar, but like some people just want it because it's expensive. And look, in a way it's kind of crazy that people ask a high amount, but like, why, why waste your time even commenting on it? Just, I don't know. I don't get it how people sit there and where's Fairmont? <laughs> People sit there online and they just bag the shit out of people asking, hi, I'm, I'm one of those guys, that's why. Fairmont. Hey, I've had a lot of people doubt how much I ask for cars. And I get the money for it. George, how much do you think my dad's Lightning Strike BFF6 Typhoon would be worth? BFF6 Typhoon, I mean, there's many different variables. It's mint, how many Ks, how many, has it got mods or anything? Look, I'm guessing it's gonna be about 50. That's a rough ballpark, 50. Why is it, oh, Fairmont. Oh, let's go badge BF, series BF. Doom, 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 doom. Series. This is taking way too long. Most people look on their phones, so. Whatever, I'm just chilling with you guys. We're just chilling. No rush here. Talking crap. Oh my God. Where is it? Passed it like three times. I click it and it... Mm. All right, here it is. The $60,000 2007 Ford Fairmont gear. Call, uh, call the dealer. It's a dealer. Should we give him a buzz and say, mate, Oh, look at that. This is the reason. It's got 427 Ks on it. That is unheard of. The car is pretty much brand new. This thing's for like a collector to buy and just put somewhere. Like if you're looking for a, your next daily, you ain't gonna buy this thing. Uh, I saw a yellow BA GTP for $120,000 at all Ford day. Yeah, look, this, like I was saying before, there's people out there, they're gonna ask shitloads for their car because they can, they don't need the money. My dad's kind of done the same thing. You know, he's got an RX-7 and he's like 50 grand. I'm not gonna take any less than that. Um, so I set a price, high and low for E-Series. All right, let's check out the E-Series. All the E-Series, let's do it. Series, we're going EB. We're going EB2, we're going ED, EF, EF, EF2, EL. Bang. High to low. Okay, so the highest E series is $20,000 and it's a fucking, it's a limo. Sorry about the swearing. Again, like this photo is not doing this car any justice. Like, I understand most people look in vertical on their phones these days. Um, my question keeps getting lost in the chat. Sorry, man. I'm looking at my screen and then trying to look up there. What was your question, Stefan? Stefan, let me scroll back a little bit. If you scroll up and just had a question, you think it's worth me fixing it for what I've been quoted, Stefan. Stefan, are you the dude I used to work with at um, the warehouse, mate? If you could scroll up. Yeah, nice. No, so I was given to my grandma for free from another family member. Stefan, 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 Stefan. You reckon it's worth to me spending 20K to fix my bill of land? The car was free. It's almost like I'm spending that much to buy one. Yeah, it's kind of true, man. But like the quality that you get with it freshly done is, is you know, it's like all brand new. You can go buy one for 20, but. I've seen VLs for 20 that are just like still factory paint, still got rust in them. Yeah, so anyway, we don't care about the limousine. We're going down, we've got a, a five liter EB fam on gear for 16.5. Look, I'm gonna say, if you want 16.5 for your car, take it out somewhere nice, give it a wash, and do some proper photos. Like this is, I feel like this is just a little bit of laziness and, and people, I mean, the car looks kind of clean, the bonnet and straight away I'm seeing the bonnet's not lining up properly. Oh, it's got the nice gear leather, looks fairly clean. Photos like tilted, 
messes with your head. You've got two photos exactly the same. That looks messy. I mean, I've wiped down all these little marks here. 16 and a half grand. Like if someone's going to spend 16 and a half grand, take a little, go the extra mile and just make the presentation better because I reckon it pays off. I don't really know if this is worth 16 and a half grand. It looks clean. I just feel like the photos are not very good. Like I'd, I'd take it out and park it on a road somewhere with like nice gardens in the background. That's just me. Keep losing my mouse. What are you saying? What are we saying here? Oh, there's so many comments coming in guys. I can't keep up with all of them. Let me know if the audio comes off too. Ah, uh, yeah, Stefan, look, man, 20 grand on the VL. <laughs> Skip that before. It's really up to you, man. If you like the color and everything, or you could do, you could slowly do what I did and, and do it at home. I, I didn't have 20K to throw on it, but we've got a new fresh paint job now. George, most boosted or not G6C turbos are worth 20 or 30K. Yes, that's right. I paid 25 for mine and I've had it for a year and a half. Depends on the case and stuff. Like an FG or a B series XR6 Turbo is literally the fastest, cheapest, most reliable car you can buy. Prove me wrong. Um, yeah, there's no other car you can get for cheaper. That's just as quick. And uh, maybe like a a Golf R or Golf GDI, but they're, they're even if they cost more. All right. Um, I know, right, lol. Even a few of the EFs are gone for a big price. Yeah, they're going massive, man. Like, look at this. Ford Fairmont gear. Like, this is a six-cylinder. $15,000. Most, look, this is just what people are asking. It doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that like it's worth that. This one looks pretty clean. Like the leather's nice. Most of these you find the leather's all cooked in them. And for someone who wants that exact car, they want a nice version of it to keep and store and become an investment. It's just like that VL I was talking about before, my mate who bought the BT1 for $10,000 back in 2005. And we laughed at him. And now the car's worth 150 grand. And what is it like? It's a, it's a fair while later. It's like probably nearly 20 years. Who's calling me on no caller ID right now? Should we pick this up? Yeah, let's just do it. It'll be funny for the live. Hello? Yeah, they hung up. Bastards. That's why you don't pick up... Uh... Yeah, look at this. Ford EF wagon. 9.5. Nearly 200,000 Ks on the clock. Okay, take a photo where you can see the whole car. It's like it, it, it's like a YouTube video. This guy's cut the photo down so it's like extra, extra short. It's like he's shot in 16 by nine. Yeah, mate, just took me car to the car park and <laughs> sent a couple of photos. We still got audio. Doom, 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 doom. Yep. Look, the car looks like it's been pretty well taken care of does it have a roadworthy yes roadworthy nine five i always feel like the wagons are worth less if you wanted a car to chuck a barrel in like a sleeper or something and you didn't want to get like a b series or, or whatever like something like this would be a six sleeper that i reckon would go up in price um well, paint looks good, but then another thing I don't like is how there's drips under the car. Like, see the drips? When you when someone sees that, they don't know if that's the real gloss on the car or if that's like the car just being wet. My dad said to me um, back in the days, like, never go see a car in the rain because you know the the paint looks good. Another thing I don't really like, and it's just my my preference but like when the photos are taken in different locations you just someone's just going through their phone and they're like got random photos of the car because they can't be bothered like doing proper photos but that's again not everyone has time to do it properly 
Look at this six cylinder, two hundred fifty thousand k's. It's a Fairmont. It's eight. It's nine grand, mate. If you want to, if you want an E series, mate. Only the only the rich people drive E series now. If you want just a a two hundred ninety thousand kilometer Ford Fairmont EB wagon, you are making a six thousand dollar down payment on this bad boy. Yeah, what's a good place to take photos? I'm selling my car soon. So I reckon in the shade. See, this is horrible. Like you're chopping the car off on the, on the side there. I personally prefer photos where you get the whole car in. I wonder if it'll let me see my old ads here. I manage ads. Yeah, here we go. So this is my old ad. I don't know if I can see the photos. This is my old BF, which I actually regret selling. This car was amazing, man. It was, um, edit, add. See if it lets me see the photos. Where's the photos? Here we go. Yeah, I mean, I rushed this too. I kind of rushed this. I was at a, I was at a job. Um, but yeah, shade on the road in the same location, I think is good. Put it on the road because it looks like it's being driven. If it's on the grass or in a shed or in a shed with no concrete and shit, like, yeah, I don't think I don't think graffiti places are good because graffiti it takes away the attention from the car, but it can work as well. Some people don't like it. There's a difference between shooting in the sun, yeah. Anyway, we'll get out of my old ad. Back to the E series gold mine investments. Let's get rid of the. Oh, we forgot to put EA in there, bro. No wonder they're so low. <laughs> Where's the EAs? Why isn't there an EA category? Oh, there's no EAs. Oh, I'm still in Fairmont, bro. Oh my God. I'm still in Fairmont. Let's go Falcon. Series. E series. Oh, here we, now we've got some EAs, baby. Let's go. DC LTD. All right, we're going to do that soon after this. What are they? George, please search up LTD. What's a good place to take photos? I'm about to sell my 2000 model VT Club Sport. It's got 500,000 Ks. How much do you think it'll be worth? It's mechanically good with no dents. It's got three much reg. Now, I would, I would just put it up for like, if it's clean and everything, and it, and it drives, someone might see it and be like, this is my, finally my entry point into a HSV. Two thousand VT Club Sport. Is that a is that a five liter or does it got an LS in it? What do I think it'll be worth? I have no idea what the Commodore's worth. You'd have to just have a look and see. Maybe we can have a look after we do. Yeah, don't take photos of the car wash, Josh. Exactly. Photos of the car wash. Not good. Dry the car properly. All right. EB GT. Probably one of the ugliest cars ever created. The designer. Oh, this guy. He wants $115,000 and he's got one photo. I bet you his phone's going off the hook. $92,000. Please, George, please search up. Yep, Miami boys, mate, I will search it up, please, just for you. Hey, mate, I'm a big fan of the channel. I've got an ED fam on an EBS pack and I want to boost one. Which one would you go, SHOC or Barra? Personally, I prefer the Barra. They are way more common. I think the Intec sounds better when, you, when you're on revs, but the benefit of the double overhead cam on the Barra means you just you spool up the turbo faster and everything. And um, it's a newer engine. It's like the newer design of whatever. I need to find my drink, man. Just give me one sec. Oh, where is my drink? I purposely went and got a drink. All right, found my drink. Got my um, Mount Franklin. Uh, Watermelon flavor. Goes good, this stuff. I was drinking like those P3 
Pepsi Max cans heaps, and then I thought, start doing these, and it's been really good. Yeah, personally, I would go Barra. Um, yeah, single overhead cams are pretty good. Like Jason from Tunnel Vision, who did my motor, he loves the Intex. And one of my mates, Nick's got a built Intex in his XE. That thing's running a GTX 42 turbo on it. And he's got full built everything driveline, but 709 kilowatt. At the wheels, out of his Intex. I think it's got like Nitto rods and Torrington Bear, all the, all the good stuff. Um, Jason actually said to me that well, Nick told me that, um, who's very good friends with Jason, that an unopened Intech, if it's set up properly and tuned with the proper fuel system, good for about 300 at the wheels, like fairly reliably, which I didn't think was capable. If I knew that, I would have turbocharged my old AU back in the day for sure. It depends on the tuning, depends how hard the power comes in, all that kind of stuff. So I'm not looking at the camera because all the comments are coming up there on my other screen. Yeah. All right. What are we doing here? I don't really want to see the GTs. Look, we've got a we've got a XR8 Sprint here, 46 grand. You're telling me that E-Series aren't going up in price? Look how many people are putting them up. 35 grand for an EL XR6. You got 35 grand for an S XR8. Now, it's kind of weird in the in the EBs they had this X S XR8 and then they had XR8 so if it was an actual XR8, it had the round lights in the front, and if it was an SXR8, it had the open lights. Um, George, the Ford Barrows sound good with ghost cams, by the way. Yeah, they do. I asked them to do them on my car, but my car's got a Haltech, and apparently it's way too much work. Also, easy swap. All research is done. Barra. Yeah. I don't have too much money. One Q said, I don't have too much money to put into it because I'm only a P plater. I think a barra has a lot more aftermarket support. Try price low to high. Okay, let's go low to high then. Low to high. Oh, 1250 bucks for this immaculate 1991 EB. Let's have a look at these awesome pics. As you can see, he's washed the car for the photos. Cut all the grass around it. I mean, if I had this car, I'd definitely give it a proper wash. Like get it, get a sponge going, <laughs> microfiber towel, take it out of the grass. Like that, it looks like it's been sitting there forever. I mean, some people aren't capable of doing this. I totally get that. But like, Give it a vacuum. Dude, I'm going to buy this thing and fix it. So, this is about, I shouldn't look at cars. It makes me want to buy shit. Yeah. Take it out. Give it a wipe. Like this spider webs, make it worth $200. If you clean them all up and you show a little bit of shine, you take some proper photos. Take the seat covers off so you can see what's under there. If they're good. Straighten up the steering wheel. Wipe down all this dust here. Wipe down all this shit. Like someone's vomited in the middle there. No one wants to spend that. Clearly he wants a thousand dollars. Anyway, it's in New South Wales. Next up we have a 94 ED 1500. It's got some weird hubcaps on it. Paints cooked as it usually is on the green ones. Oh, a few more comments coming in with the barrows. Josh Bevan said, with the barrows, especially regarding gas ones, every person you ask says something different about their specs over the different years. Yeah, that's right. If you check out Everything Fuzzy, it's a channel um, who does Ford stuff as well. He's got a barrow conversion in his uh, E-Series. And he goes, he's got a video that goes over the different green tops and he actually opens them, opens them up and stuff. Really cool video. Good channel. Give him a sub. Uh, but yeah, there's different, different information on all different engines and stuff. Like it's confusing. Sometimes you don't really know what you're getting. Ford barrels are a lot of work for a swap. It's not hard. Trust me. My dad's mate has a couple who done some swaps and it's hard. Yeah, it is. 
it is a lot more work than you think. Like you're not just throwing it in. You got to change electrical stuff. You got to change the pedal, the because barras work off a electric uh, throttle control. Whereas I think the Intec is a cable. What are we doing? We're doing the Fairlane, are we? I saw a really expensive E. Hey, I want to check it out on here. Price high to low. Let's just get rid of EB. Let's just get rid of EB2. Let's get rid of ED. Let's get rid of EF. Get rid of EL. Get rid of... All right. This car looks... No, this is this is a twin to my car, except he's got a multi-point. This is 25 grand. I mean, this car is clean. It's a factory manual. What one thing that would bring this up is is put the thing on on a road like a clean road or take it to an industrial estate where I don't know if you guys saw that F6 video that I just posted but like the location that we that we um, shot that in was amazing like and we just went out near Melbourne Airport there so good just something with some like nice lines in the background nothing too busy the more busy the background the more it takes away from the car and it just it just when people are scrolling, you got to think like, what's gonna, what's gonna look above average? Because if you want an above average price, you got to do above average photos, you got to do above average cleaning, you got to do above average maintenance and work to your car. If it's just gonna be stock and standard, then shit. Yeah, this thing's factory manual. Look at that. It looks pretty much brand new. Twenty five grand is a lot though, for this car. I'm not saying it's not worth that, but you have to really want an EAS pack. I mean, look at the engine bay. So, Miami boys, DC, please. He keeps saying it, DC. He's obsessed with it. Let's do it. What do you want, Ford? Miami boys. Am I going to collab with Full Boost? Well, that's up to Full Boost. I did tell Luke that if he needs a hand with filming, like I was chatting with him on the weekend. For, I was chatting with um, Jordy actually on the weekend for a while. And I chat with Luke a little bit and I offered them my services if they need help with filming on any projects or car stuff that comes up because that's what I do for work. I do filming or whatever. So they said that, yeah, they might be in touch. Um, they're probably after a certain specific. Are we going, what do you want? DC LTD. That's a fair lane, isn't it? Fair lane, mate. Only the rich people buy these. Badge. Series. <laughs> if you didn't know, you can actually look up cars yourself as well. ZD. NC. What do you want? DC. Doesn't look like there is any. There is no DC, boys. Do you plan on putting a Barrett in your EA? If so, have you spoken to Rex H? Uh, I did speak to Rex H on Sunday. We caught up at the YouTubers Club uh, private day. And no, I haven't spoken to Rex H um, about doing the conversion. Uh, he'd probably advise me not to do it. Like it is a massive amount of work. But yeah, I'll, I'll do it eventually one day. Like my long-term goals are to actually open my own shop because my son Thomas wants to be a mechanic. So I'd love to have a shop with um, a few mechanics working there, doing content like every single day working on cars. Um, I'm thinking about doing, this is going to be really cool coming up on the channel as well. I want to do a thing where we go out into the country and we try and, we try and find cars like in the country. And we just go and knock on people's doors and like try and get a deal. So I'm going to bring cash with me, bring the car trailer and just drive down random back streets. I've got a drone. So we're going to take the drone up and see what we can find in paddocks and whatever. I already found an XE. I know where it is. Excuse me. Yeah, I can't find this DC Fairlane, bruv. Series. N-C-Z-D-A-U-B-A-N-F-Z. There's no, there's no DC. What is a DC? Let's just search it on Google. I want to see what it is now. DC Fairlane. Oh, bruv, this thing is porno. That. Yeah, they're kind of cool. There's none for sale on car sales. 
What are we saying? Do you plan on putting a barrel? Yes. LTD is not on the fair lanes. Okay, true. I didn't even think of that. It's in its own class, the LTD. Probably get some bargains, mate. L. Where is L, man? Escape, Deluxe, Explorer, Fiesta, Kia, Landu. There we go. I had no idea that LTD was in its own class. $64,000. I better start saving, boys. You never see those Fords anymore. Yeah, man, they, they're the ones going up. So Thomas is you. So, Thomas is you has actually undergone an AU engine swap. So we've fully swapped it. It's running. We put an Intec in it. So he, he, he wanted to do that. He didn't want to do a barrel and it was school holidays. It was, I don't think it was last school holidays. It might've been the one before that. And he was, he was bored and Ricky was here and I kind of just said, Hey, do you want to in tech swap your car this holidays? I just wanted to make the holidays interesting for him because his car wasn't starting either. I was like having issues and stuff. So yeah, I ended up just buying a, an Intec from the wreckers and yeah, we got it done. We had to convert the sump. We had to get a barra bell housing, put it on the gearbox. We had to make a custom bracket for the column shift to work. Yeah. Oh, look at this old school thing. I remember my grandpa's friend having one of these. Oh, see, this is what I'd mean about the video. So you can upload videos to car sales like this guy's this guy's knows how to do it it's even got near my face here if i move myself whoops if i move myself you can see here there's like a own this for as little as 208 dollars per week so you can um that's pretty cool So this guy's done a full proper video on it. Like that's that's pretty cool. Do I prefer wanna one qua said, do you prefer the standard EA B D lights or do you like the twin headlight front? I don't know, man. I don't I don't really I don't feel like that car is I think both look good. That's the short answer. Both look good. I would have both. I feel like if it's an XR6, it needs to have the twin headlight front. But if you put the headlight front like on a Fairmont or something, I don't really like that. Some people do that. Each to their own though. It's like your own car, you do what you want. And, you know, the fact that the twin headlight fronts are so expensive now, that's what makes it cool. <laughs> if you could buy them for $50, and put them on your car like no one would think they were cool but because you have to pay two grand for the twin headlight front that's what makes it cool you see one and be like oh do you know how much them lights are worth people are, people are weird these things are cool photo of the engine bay so these old school things have a big five liters in them thirty eight thousand dollars for an au fair lane well it's not a fair lane it's an ltd sorry for the uh, for the AU nerds out there, Alex Jimmy said, "Love your work, bro. Thank you, Alex." Anyone got a Mint ED XR8 for sale? I just there's a black one. Let's try and find it. Actually, it was on Marketplace today. It had like 300, 300 saves or something on it. Um, what are we, what was it? Uh, XR6. Man, it had twin headlight front and everything. This thing here. Have a look at this thing. This thing here is four and a half grand. And how many people have saved this shit? Twin headlight front. It's manual. Manual. Can you see that? Slam, it's on Fairmont rims. It's got the XR6 interior. Again, shit picks, slightly ripped seat. 
see how it's in the sun? The guy's got his reflection of him like here. You can make that a million times better. But he's just, he's like, yeah, the interior shit. Can't be bothered vacuuming it. I'm going to take it from far away. He's got the Australian flag roof lining going on there. Sad. Um, any more Station P cruise videos happening in the future? Yeah, 100%, man. I love going out cruising, so I'll be taking, I'll be taking the camera down pretty much any night I go cruising. So... I've been, I've been out so many times I didn't film it and I kind of regret it. This car I think is a good deal. It's got an AU motor. Has he got an engine bay shot? Yeah. It's taken it too far away. It's got an Intec in it. Uh, looks like it's got extractors. Barrel needs replacing. Engine bay loom. The bay loom is very messy. It's got the... E-series manifold on it still, the AU one comes around like that. Apart from that, it's a pretty clean example. No rush to sell. Do you know how many people save this? Like, it doesn't show it now. So if you if you need Epping, man, I'd go check this thing out. This is... It looks amazing in that photo. Is it black? Or blue? Oh, it's blue. It almost looks black in that photo. That photo looks clean as... What are we saying? Yeah, roofline has to go. Yeah, replace that. So let's just have a look at like six and a half for this bad boy. Miami boys, my dad knows a Ford. Yeah, he, he got me a Ford DC. Nice. The pricey one of Q said, yeah, they're pricey, but a company has just made reproduction brackets and the lights are decently common. Yeah, well, that's cool. Sad hijack, hey. Sorry, Alex Jimmy. Delure Flammer. I got a 2006 BF 5 point Chevy Camaro. Chevy Camaro. 4.5 liter V8 U, and I'm building it into a tribute. Oh, that's cool. $4,000. That sounds like good. The cruise videos are cool. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, I feel like. I feel like we need. Melbourne needs more, um, Miami boys, man, I already did you a search, bro. TC Cortina, he likes the old school stuff. Now, let's search TC Cortina on... Search CT, oh, here we go. The old Cortina, here we go. Here's your next project, Miami boys. As you can tell, he shot this on a potato. Wow, that's really... Bro, three grand. Now, maybe we should buy this and redo the photos and try and get five. It's a wagon. Yep. Horrible photos, man. He's shot that on a Nokia 3110. So I'm guessing this is a TC Cortina. Is the audio still working? Melbourne car scene is a lot better than Sydney. Well, I just think that you got to find the right location because you can, I'm, I'm telling you, if I came to Sydney, I would find where to go. Or, you know, there's nothing stopping anyone from actually putting a thing online and saying, if you've got a cool car, meet up here at this time and you kind of make it happen yourself. I'll probably um, do a meet soon or something for my subscribers if you guys are keen enough. Let me know in the comments if you'd be down to meet up and stuff. It'd be cool to go for a drive, make a video out of it, feature some of your cars while we're all together. Yeah. Pretty GoPro footage, yeah. GoPro footage, yeah. Footage, sorry, I'm fucking up my words. I've been going for a while now. I'm getting tired. I had heaps of fun. Um, Just go to Lightning Ridge and find barn finds and they've got some cool stuff there, Miami boys. Yeah, man, look at this old Ford Escort. 6,500. I mean, you buy a car like this, it pretty much needs like $50,000 worth of work to even bring it up to a point. I mean, you got rusted out floors and stuff. 
Yeah, the rust, man. I, I feel like when people see rust in a car, it's like almost over exaggerated on how bad it is. Like, have you have you ever really heard about anyone dying in a car accident because their car was too rusty? I've never heard it about that one. So someone driving a rusty car and like they had an accident and you know, they didn't survive. I understand it. she can go wrong and can get structural, but like most little bits of rust in a car aren't really gonna, f like you don't want your feet to fall through the floor. And it is a momentum effect, but I'm just saying like most cars are probably perfectly safe to drive. Anyway. I'm probably going to end the live here because I've got to call my missus back. She tried to call me before. But thank you guys for tuning in. My camera's going to die as well. So love you all. Have a good night. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for your lovely comments.